the lyrics for one of the most heartfelt songs on the soundtrack of the film Calendar Girls were written by the American singer-songwriter Beth Nielsen Chapman. I Find Your Love is one of those songs that, you know, I open up my emails or I get a call or a letter from somebody almost every week saying it helped me through feeling so disconnected from this person that I lost, that I loved. And, and the way that the memory of someone can come through little instances that are completely unexpected. My, my husband died of cancer in 1994, and I had a line in a song that I wrote for him that said something like, you know, every once in a while when my son smiles, I see you smiling at me. You know, it's this way that things just sort of like a wisp of uh, something coming through the essence of this person that you loved. So there's a lot of lines in this song that feel like that, you know, that, that talk about, I see your smile on someone's face. I, you know, I, I hear you, I see you, you're just around me, even though I can't know you the way I did before, I still feel you there. I'll catch your smile on someone's face. You're whispering the wind's embrace through diamond stars and songs and dreams. I find your love in everything. The sun, the sky. Catch your smile on someone's face. Amazing grace. Bradford skyline tells you that this is a city of different faiths. Bradford Cathedral's interfaith worker is Liz Firth. Interfaith relations are really important in a place like Bradford. We're a town that's been built on migration. People have come to Bradford from loads of different places all over the world for a long time now. And we're still welcoming new communities here every year. And I think the family went perhaps hoping for it. We have communities from different faith traditions in Bradford and from none. And it's really important that as much as possible, we're providing opportunities for people to come together, to get to know each other. by the Statue of Mary. You visit different faith communities, see places of worship, get to meet people from different faith communities. We're deepening relationships, building trust, and it just helps move Bradford forward. This is one of the main day when we're visiting different places of worship, we'll often have people from different faith backgrounds. And it is originally in black stone. So Sikh, Hindu, Muslim, Christian backgrounds, sometimes of no particular faith background. And we'll do a tour of the building. We might look at the particular statues, if there are statues there, we understand the meanings behind we them. We have a fire at the centre here. 
it's often useful to perhaps focus on things that we do share in common. So for us as Christians, we're coming up to the season of Lent, which is the time that traditionally people will have fasted, will have prepared themselves through prayer for the Feast of Easter. It's great to have Muslim friends in Bradford who are happy to share with us their experiences of Ramadan. A similar time for the Muslim community where they are preparing through fasting, through abstinence, through prayer for the celebration of Eid. God of our pilgrimage, expand our horizons, we pray, that this Lent we may explore both the depth of your mercy and the breadth of your generous grace, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, as Lent approaches, perhaps the question we should be asking is not what can we give up for Lent, but what can we take on? Because our faith can be passive or it can be active, as our last hymn reminds us. This is our prayer for strength and courage to cope with whatever life brings our way. <laughs> 